Hello and welcome back to the Gold Traders channel. Today we're going to be doing a slightly more complicated topic than usual. We're going to be talking about XRF testing. XRF testing is a form of analysis that uses X-rays to provide a elemental breakdown of an item. XRF testing is utilized in the precious metal industry for testing metals such as gold because it can provide a breakdown of the metal alloy. Here at Gold Traders, we utilize XRF for our own testing, so let's head somewhere a little bit different to talk about that a bit more. So I am now in the Gold Traders Gold Counter, which is our base of operations and where we do all of our day-to-day -day trading. I'm currently sat with our XRF machine, which is the Niton DXL, and this XRF machine is designed specifically for precious metals. This incredible machine can analyze a piece of metal in roughly five seconds and give us all the information that we need to know about its composition. It can tell us purity by analyzing the metal alloy. And this particular model also has the special ability to suggest if an item might be plated by the information that it gathers. So how does it do all of this? Well, that's the magic of XRF. But what does XRF actually mean? Well, it means X-ray fluorescence, and a very simplified model of it works as such. You have an X-ray source, you have a sample that the X-ray is going to be shot at, and then you have a detector, which is detecting the X-rays so that they can be analysed. So when we activate our XRF machine, it fires X-rays at the sample, each element within the sample reacts to this and then shoots out x-rays of its own, which is then picked up by the detector. And then, in our case, the computer inside our XRF machine compares those x-rays to the x-rays of elements that it recognises to give us a breakdown of the item's composition. And that process, where the sample takes those primary x-rays, reacts with them and lets out other x-rays, is known as fluorescence, hence the name X-ray fluorescence. It's not exactly the most creative name, but it definitely does what it says on the tin. The actual definition of fluorescence is essentially absorbing one type of radiation and emitting another. Now, you've probably heard of fluorescence before, but in a slightly different context. To be clear, most things in the universe fluoresce in some way, shape, or form. It's just that it's not always visible to us. An example of visible fluorescence could be fluorescent lighting that you see in our buildings, or even glow sticks that you would find at a party. Fluorescent x-rays are a type of fluorescence that aren't visible to us, which is why you need a machine to help see them. And this is why we have the XRF machine. But I hear you ask, why XRF? Why do we use this method over others? Well, there's a few different reasons. XRF has quite a lot of advantages over other testing methods. Primarily, it is non-destructive. This means that any metal item that we test doesn't have to be broken down or filed or anything like that in order for us to test it. Whilst some people might not care whether that item gets destroyed or not, some people do. Some people might just be looking to find out what their item is. And in that case, the XRF is the best option. XRF also provides the most detailed breakdown of the metals included, so we can get a full understanding of what any item is. This is important to us because even though our name is Gold Traders, we do deal in a variety of precious metals, and knowing what we have is very, very important. And whilst our Gold Counter team are very good at what they do, Having the warning about plated items from our particular XRF machine is such a good security feature. Not to mention that it's just plain efficient. The XRF machine is incredibly quick and safe to run whilst we take a look at another item or do some calculations. Now, you might not see a lot of XRF machines out in the wild. Um, that is because this kind of technology is very specialist and very expensive. XRF machines are more commonly owned by specialist metal dealers such as ourselves or places such as labs that need that high specified information. So the fact that we have one of these machines really does set us apart from the competition. If you'd like to know how to purchase one of these, you can go onto the manufacturer's website. They are a little bit secretive about the price of them due to their specialist nature. 
And now for the final section of the video, I'm going to show a few clips of me putting some gold items into our XRF machine so you can see the process and the information that it tells us. So we have a gold sovereign here, and as soon as we click start, it gets to work analyzing the gold. It quickly figures out that we have 22 carat and then breaks down the alloy, showing us gold, copper, and silver. You may have noticed that the final carat says 21.98, but that is well within tolerance and can be called 22 carat. It is a similar story for this little charm here. On the back of this charm, there is a 750 hallmark, which would say that it is 18 carat. However, sometimes in the alloying process, it does end up being a little bit below. This is completely normal, and as long as your gold has received a hallmark to say it is 9, 18, 22 carat, for example, you will still get the full carat price for your gold. And then our final item is this pair of cufflinks, which actually has the opposite problem, where the gold carat is actually slightly higher. This particular alloy also introduces a metal we haven't seen yet, which is zinc. And with that, I have shown you everything that I wanted to talk about today. Thank you so much for watching the video. This video was meant to be another one of our facts in four minutes things, but unfortunately there was a little bit too much information to try and squeeze into that length of time. Regardless, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please give us a like and a subscribe if you did enjoy it, and I hope to see you in the next one.